How's it going guys? Welcome back, welcome back. We are coming in with a brand new Rush Royale video. We've just got our priestess all the way up to level 13 and we have got the third ascension talents on her. So she's absolutely doing work for us now. Massive shout out to the guys over in DR, Divine Ravens. They've been a massive help preparing this deck and helping me out with what talents to use. And the talents that we have gone for on our priestess today is right, left, right. So going in order, first, second and third. First one, it's giving us extra mana. Second one, if we do, it creates a tile. And if we do merge inside that tile, it gives us 250 extra mana. And the third one is it gets an extra 400% damage and area attack, splash damage, so to speak, whenever one's placed on the field, copied, merged, eaten, anything like that. So you'll be seeing that come into effect shortly. It obviously, is the Kingdom of Light faction blessing as well. So our priestesses are going up in merge rank every 60 seconds. So that's what we like to see, getting that damage built up over time without having to actually do anything and boom that's just come into effect and obviously it does give us that extra 80 mana as well so any negative effects put on our priestess will obviously give us that extra mana as well so you want to be making sure you're getting enough shamans to be sending on over but you also want to be making sure you've got enough harleys to be copying priestess merging mimes merging harleys merging priestesses so you are getting all of that juicy mana and you obviously you need enough priestesses on the board to actually make sure you are putting out that damage you don't want to be burning them all off and not have any priestesses on the board to actually create that splash damage but there you go you can see it come into effect a little bit there comes into effect again because we placed another priestess on the field and it just clears that wave right on back it is really really nice we want to be making sure that we do get a couple levels on our priestess like we have done so you can see she's at a merge three a merge three and mana rank three i do apologize but a couple of shamans going his way now gets merged out the way of one we actually managed to hit a night statue of one which is rather nice getting then merged up and we do get a couple of priestesses out of that as well and what i'm wondering guys is i've not quite figured it out yet or not is if you copy like loads at the same time does the damage like does the damage and the splash increase like like you see i've got a couple copied there and look at the wave it's just kept right on back very very nice He's not got too many demon hunters on the board at the minute. He's got a few knight statues that are obviously switched off, which is what we like to see. Get an R1 copied on over there so we get that extra bit of damage. And oh my goodness, it didn't actually hit and we actually merged off the wrong one anyway. So anyway, ignoring the fact that we just merged off the wrong one completely, we're going to be moving into puppeteer. That shouldn't be too bad, guys. Obviously, we have got a couple of levels on our thing, but formation does not matter at all, at all. And what is this guy doing? Merged up a knight statue, he's got two knight statues that are merged two, they're all switched off, he's got two demon hunters, one merged four, one merged two, and they're not doing anything for him. So let's keep going guys, let's see if we can get the victory, getting them ones down there as well, leaving us with a merge three Harley there, so potentially we could actually get that copied onto a priestess, so that'll get that ability kicked in, or if we do need to use it on a shaman or a summoner or anything like that, we'll be looking absolutely lovely, but there we go, we've got that mine there as well, so we can afford to do it on a priestess if we do need to eventually, and obviously we can actually copy over and merge off the priestesses if we want to get in that fast merging ability and boom there's that special tile we got that extra 250 there plus the 30 for getting an extra one on the field so that's 280 together another one merged up that's 160 we're merging the shamans off we're getting them all sent over left right and center he's getting another nice statue on the board he's actually got himself another demon hunter on the board now as well so his damage is increasing a little bit but he's just not looking good right now he's not looking good he's been searching for night statues all over the place he's not scott scrapper and I think Scrapper is a very key card to play. Yeah, I have my head in my hands as well. You said oops at the beginning, mate. You thought you had me at the start, and you didn't. That's what we like to see. But no, that's the thing. You do need Scrapper with a Knight Statue just so you can get them eaten, and get them all switched back on if you do drop another one. But anyway, you didn't have any connected anyway, so... Let's jump into another one, see if we can do it all over again, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, that was a very nice first game for us, guys. We're going to try and jump into another one. We're coming up against a Blade Dancer Knight statue now, so let's just try and get a fair few on the board. If we can try and send some shamans over to get things started, that would be rather nice for us as well. But obviously, we do get a couple of summoners we can get straight on the board there, so that's quite nice for us. Getting no priestesses out of that, which is a little bit unfortunate. Getting identical drops out of the both of them. A merge 2 Mime and a merge 1 Harley. Can't moan at that because when we do finally get shamans or anything, we'll be able to send them straight on over. He's got a couple of blade dancers straight off the bat, which is rather annoying. Come on. We're going to do the same again. Couple of summoners. Let's go. There's a merge 2 shaman. There's another merge 2 shaman. There's a merge summoner. What's going on? Where are all my priestesses at? Come on. We're going to lose in this first round. And there we go. There we go, we actually managed to, oh, we hit a Blade Dancer with that one as well, which is beautiful. Very, very good to see. He's got himself another Knight Statue there, so he's going to have to get that eaten or merged or something as soon as possible. 
and this is what we like to see guys he's not dropping any more blade dancers which is good for us oh and the faction blessing just got kicked in and he's got himself a mage two night statue exactly where he doesn't want it sending over a couple of shamans and we actually get rid of that blade dancer there in the corner he didn't manage to get moved with his portal keeper i don't know why not but we're looking good now guys we're getting plenty of mana off all of our units and we've got a nice couple of more shamans to send on over can we get anything decent with this one all right, so he saves that night statue, but we do get hit off on the other one, which I'm sure he's not too bothered about because he's going to be wanting them to get them merged off or something at some point. And, oh my God, is it going to give me any more priestesses today? Oh, thank you very much, Game Master. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not say anything again. Or maybe I will say it again and you'll give me some more. Hey, hey, we do get the merge three summoner out of that one, which is not very good for us. It's a little bit unfortunate. And that was nice dropping that de uh, demonologist. What? There's no demonologist in my game. What was I even thinking about? What was I even thinking about? But no, dropping that summoner there, dropping another couple there. So obviously the splash damage, the effect is getting kicked in. It's all very nice. It's not what we like to see. And then we go, we'll get that 250 mana for merging inside of that tower. One just gets merged up, so that's an extra 160 as well because of the faction blessing. That's what you love to see, guys. Another one sent on over. He's only got the one blade dancer now. I haven't been concentrating on what I've been sending over or what he's been merging. Oh, we've hit that blade dancer again. That's what we like to see. We get our bedlam taken out before he does get the switch off on us as well, which is BEA beautiful. And it wouldn't have mattered if he got the switched off on. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize he got. I would have rage quit then as well, my friend. I didn't realise you got flipped. But no, if we got flipped, as I was saying, if we did get the flip off on us, it wouldn't have mattered at all. Jumping straight into another one, of course. But no, it wouldn't have mattered because we would have got us so much mana, so much mana, because Bedlam would have flipped all of them priestesses and we would have been able to set our board straight back up. A couple of shamans on the board there, ready to send one straight on over as soon as we have got a couple of mines, possibly. Or should we just send them? Let's go, 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 go. Oh, uh, we didn't manage to take out his... Ooh, we just managed to save that cold mage. Very nice. I was going to say we didn't manage to take out his blade dancers, which is a bit unfortunate. And we've got a couple of priestesses on the board now as well. So our damage is starting to get on there. It's starting to get kicking. It's what we like to see. Let's see if we can get our third win in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought priestess? Priestess, guys, of all units. Putting in the damage, putting in the work. I know Shaman's in there, guys. But we don't say about it. we don't mention that one. We don't mention that one. Alright, so you can see our board is starting to build up a little bit. Bedlam coming out first again, which isn't bad, it's not good. But no, our board's starting to build up because we've not got oh, there we go. Not got any priestesses dropping or anything like that. But as our priestess got merged up a level there, it did get kicked in and we dropped another one just after that. And you can see our board's getting kept right on back. This guy's starting to do alright though, ladies and gentlemen. You can see he's got a fair few blade dancers on the board. They're all starting to look alright. He might actually be able to take Bedlam out. Well, I'm not. Bedlam should be easy to take out, guys. He's coming in at like 50k. So he shouldn't have anything to worry about. Sending a couple of things over there as well, which is quite nice. We actually managed to take out that dryer completely. And there's another couple of priestesses on the board. So you should see the effect getting kicked in. We're keeping our wave back. It's very nice. We're getting some alright crits for priestesses level 3. Could potentially look at getting that a little bit higher. You never know. You never know what you're going to do, basically, guys, with this deck. You've got to try and get a full board. Wait and see what happens. I don't want to be getting flipped by Bedlam, but like I did say earlier, it will be giving us so much money if we did get the flip. And oof, we had to move that one out of the way there, which does put a couple of them connected. But obviously, as soon as they're awake, you'll be able to get them moved out of the way and it'll be nothing to worry about. So. Let's just keep on going, keep on waiting and seeing. Look at all of our priestesses just rocking our snowflake there. So our wave is right on back. Just coming out of 50k, getting one merged up. So they are in that effect. Ooh, that was close. That was almost a flip. And like I said, I wouldn't have been bothered because we would have had so much mana. But either way, we're looking good. We've got a nice, nice little merge tile down there, which uh, we're probably going to get used very shortly. Get it copied over, get it merged off. There's that extra mana, and we are stuck with the merge four shaman there. A little bit unfortunate, but you can see we've got the merge four priestess as well. And we've got loads of merge one priestesses all ready to get merged off as soon as we do need to. Nice couple of shamans sent on over. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Let's keep going, keep sending them over, keep spamming them. That's what we like to see. Getting all of his blade dancers taken off of the board, getting them all merged around, getting all of his portal keepers asleep. So there's nothing that he can do. That's what we like to see, guys. That's what we love to do. Woo! Alrighty then. Got a little bit of a nice board now, mostly merge twos, only the modern mod merge one, some merge threes, and a merge four, and a couple of merge three 
Harley Quinns if we need to do something with that. Nice merge, I meant mimes if we need to do something with that, but a nice mercenary Harley there, so we can get one copied if we do need to. Obviously, it'll get the effect kicked back in, but we might even be able to take the victory here, guys. Still got 40 seconds until Gorgon's coming out, and we're actually starting to overrun this man. You can see he's got no decent night statues in decent positions. He's got a merge three night statue, which is good, but it's not in a good position. Come on, we can keep doing this. We need to keep on merging. We need to keep on getting them priestesses in them fast firing attacking mode. That special mode. I don't know what you want to call it. Getting them summoners merged off. Get that shaman sent on over. It's another merge four priestess there, guys. So that's what you love to see. All of his blade dancers are connected there. That's absolutely what you love to see. I can't get my words out. I'm getting a little bit excited. I'm talking a little bit quickly. I do apologize for that. I'm going to try and slow right on down now. But I, oh, I think he's going to hold on for Gorgon. He's... Oh, he did hold on for Gorgon there, guys. That was very nice. And we actually... Oh, he protected that knight statue. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be taking ours out. No problem at all. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. And he's down. He's still got 700k to make it through. He might be able to get... Nah, I can't imagine him taking him out. No, 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 no. His knight statues are switched off. He's disconnected, ladies and gentlemen. He's rage quit as well. I'm sure he could have sorted this deck out, this board out, if you really needed to. But with my shamans coming at him left, right, and centre, I don't know if I would have been able to put up with it either. It's stress, guys. It's stress. And I do apologise for using it, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. Whew. Don't know if I said it earlier, guys, but I'm going to say it now. Massive shout out to the guys in Divine Ravens for helping me out with this deck and helping me out with the talents. It's unbelievable, guys. You just spam, 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 spam. Get plenty of priestesses on the board. There's his Gorgon through. It's only going to be a matter of time. And we just got to merge five priestess, giving us 320 mana there. And yeah, it's only going to be a matter of time before we actually manage to get this victory now, guys. Once you get something, walk on through his gate. We should be done and dusted. We got the merge five shaman out of that one, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's going to be it, guys. We just need to get a couple of priestesses merged off, get them into that fast fire and attack mode, and we'll be taking this victory easy peasy. Lovely jubbly. We've got the merge four there as well. We've even got that on a special tile if we did need to get it merged off at all, but. I don't even think we'll need to get it merged off. We've got a couple of things looking good on our board. Things are starting to build up on his board. We're going to send on another Shaman, another Shaman. Woof! Copy of Priestess. So they're all in that fast firing attack mode again. Merge one over. There's another Summoner. Nothing we can do with it. That little last unit is about to walk through his gate. And we're about to get our third in a row. That's what you like to see. That's the hat trick. Woof! Getting a gold map for that one as well. That is exactly what we like to see. And that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to go down and leave a like if you have. That is the power of the priestess. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.